This is hardcore luggage for real adventurers and one of the most popular upgrades for any adventure tour. This is the SW Motec Trax Adventure Series. It's an update on the popular Trax hard cases we've seen for years. This is the GV Trekker Outback. It's a new member of the aluminum adventure case family. Both of these share some important characteristics. For example, both come in two sizes. That's 37 liters for the smaller cases, and 45 liters for the large tracks, and 48 liters for the larger GV Trekker. Now, different sizes give you options. You can either choose large or small for a symmetrical bike, or if you happen to have a bike with a high exhaust system and you need one big bag and one small bag, you can outfit it and make the whole case set symmetrical. It's a really nice way to go. Now, there are some other characteristics these share. They're both at least water resistant and lockable. Both require bike specific mounts and both are designed to be top loaders. That is the bags open to the top, very easy to load. Now beyond that, they have some very specific differences. So we'll look at each bag in greater detail. Let's talk weather resistance. Now obviously that's really important if you're out in the wild, hit through heavy rain or fording streams. The Trax Adventure system is designed to be completely waterproof. That comes from robot welded seams, flush riveting, and a labyrinth seal on the lid. Now, in fact, these are so weather resistant that they are almost airtight. So if you're at altitude, you come down, it's hard to get the lids off. For that reason, there's actually a Gore-Tex patch that relieves the pressure without killing any of the weather resistance. So you can guarantee that if you're in fording streams, you're gonna to get to camp and all your stuff is gonna be dry. Now the GV is designed to be weather resistant. GV doesn't say that this is actually submersible and you can kind of see they have some flush rivets on the outside. It's a slightly different construction. It does have a labyrinth seal and realistically this will probably keep your stuff dry most of the time, but they don't say it's completely waterproof. So that's an important distinction between these two bag sets. Another consideration for adventure bags is strength. Now obviously an aluminum bag is gonna be more durable than a plastic bag and more resistant to damage. One of the things that Trax has done is actually emboss the side of the bag a little bit. By doing that, it gives it a little bit more strength and resistance to crumpling. It's safe to say these are going to be a lot more durable on the road than a, than a plastic bag. And they're obviously built to take the, the knocks and grinds of any kind of adventure riding. Another way these bags differ is in the lock mechanism. The way SW Motec approaches it is two separate mechanisms. There's one for attaching the bag to the, to the bike itself and one for securing the lid. This is a really nice, durable, simple setup. It's not as convenient as the GV system, which uses one key set that not only opens the lid, but by sliding a lever allows you to take the bag off the bike. So really what you're trading here is a little bit of convenience for some durability and robustness on the track set. Another characteristic these bags share are tie-down hooks. Now that's really convenient if you go to camp and you pick up some extra things or you decide that you just want to add some capacity. The main difference here is the Trax Adventures are the, are the molded in plastic hooks and the GVs are metal hooks that are actually riveted to the top of the case. The nice difference is the Trax actually has some waterproof cases that are designed to fit specifically on top of these. Now both of these systems require bike specific mounts. In the case of the SW Motec Trax system, it's a, the well-established system that was used on the Trax boxes prior to that. The nice thing about that is it has a very broad fit for a lot of different motorcycles, so you have a lot of flexibility and variety, especially for older bikes. Now what GV did with the Trekker Outback was come up with a new mount system. So they're starting to fill in the applications there, but you're probably going to find that it doesn't fit as many bikes as the Trax system does. The other advantage the Trax has is a, a whole lot of accessories. There are internal nets, there's a little picnic table that goes with this, and it's a system that benefits from having been in production for a long time. That's a bit of a nod toward the SW Motex side. These are both really good boxes, but you really need to check that the GV has a specific mount for your bike before you start shopping these. And you can see that on our site at twistedthrottle.com.